Did you know that a phone with 78% battery health lasts longer than one with 89% health? Stay until the end of the video, because I want to give you all the information, in case you want to buy a used Apple device. No matter how good it looks, a used phone is only worth buying if it has a good battery. So in today's video I prepared all the models from the 12 series produced by Apple, to do a battery charging and discharging test. I prepared the phones, they are all reset and have the same settings. The first stage is the charging test, so I discharged the batteries to 1% in all of them. The adapters are 20 watts and offer fast charging, so let's see how quickly they reach 100%. After connecting each phone, I turn on the socket and the timer so the charging starts at the same time for all of them. The screens are turned on so that we can see together the evolution of each phone. Many people wonder if fast charging affects battery life. It was discussed on different forums and opinions are divided. My opinion is that if you can charge with a slower charge, is more beneficial than charging fast. However, an alternation between the two does not hurt, so when you are in a hurry use fast, and at night use slow. After about an hour and a half, the first to reach 100% is the iPhone 12 Pro. followed by the 12 mini model which reaches full charge after 1 hour and 48 minutes, and very close to it is the iPhone 12 which reaches 100% after another 2 minutes. Because it has a bigger battery, the iPhone 12 Pro Max takes a little longer to be fully charged, so 2 hours and 25 minutes after turning on the socket, it reaches the end. Now that the devices are fully charged, the second part of the test follows, so we will see how quickly each one will discharge. I will reproduce in this comparison some activities that we use in everyday life. Putting phones to the stress test without a break, leaving them in first hour with the home screen on, using them another hour on YouTube, after that another one on TikTok, and playing some games. In order for the test to be as relevant as possible the devices are running on iOS 18, the settings are identical, the brightness as well, they are all connected to the same Wi-Fi network. In the first hour I will leave the phones with the home screen on without any app running. After the first 60 minutes have passed, we have the iPhone 12 Pro in the last position with 9% lost followed by the 12 mini and 12 pro max which are equal with 93 percent remaining and in the first position is the 12 with only three percent lost now let's move on to the second phase which consists in playing video on youtube at 1080p resolution Two hours have already passed, and it seems that the trend is continuing. On the last position remains 12 Pro with 69%, followed by 12 Mini and 12 Pro Max, and the first remains 12 with 83% remaining. One of the best games on smartphones that many love is going to run in the next hour, so I start PUBG Mobile and try to play on all devices. Three hours have passed since the start of the test, and as far as can be seen, three phones have already dropped below the 50% threshold. The iPhone 12 is the only one that is over the threshold with 55% battery left. An important consumer of the battery is the camera, that we use almost daily, so I will move on to an hour of video filming at 4K resolution and 24 frames. This step will make the difference and will separate the phones according to the battery strength. As I expected, this step exhausted the battery of the iPhone 12 Pro, this being the first phone that shuts down and does not reach the threshold of 4 hours of continuous use. 
Before we draw conclusions whether or not this is a phone that deserves in 2024, I will make a short presentation. With a fairly low battery health, this iPhone 12 Pro lasted 3 hours and 54 minutes, so if you are thinking of purchasing this model, you should consider replacing the battery. Four hours passed, and after the test with the camera, the percentage dropped dramatically in all cases. However, the iPhone 12 mini holds up quite well with 11% available, and the iPhone 12 remains in first place with 28% remaining. Further, in the following hour the phones will run in the TikTok app which is set to auto-scroll. The second to close is the iPhone 12 mini. With an extra hour of operation compared to the iPhone 12 Pro, it offers quite good autonomy, but let's see the specifications so we can draw conclusions. With a fairly good battery health, the iPhone 12 mini approached the 5-hour threshold, closing at 4 hours and 55 minutes from the start of the test. If it's a good result or not, I'll leave it to you to decide by leaving a message in the comments. 5 hours of continuous use have passed and the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max have resisted, approaching full discharge. I will continue to play on both until they close. When it comes to the battery of a device, there is no need to purchase new products to be able to enjoy a pleasant experience, it is enough to choose a suitable model according to the budget. The 5- to 6-year-old phones are close to the newest ones and on top of that we have the possibility of changing the battery. But be careful, changing the battery cannot guarantee an improvement, and for that I have a separate video with a link in the description that shows you why. The third to close is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. From my point of view, it has held up very well considering the health of the battery. With a large screen and a camera to match, this is a great model in 2024. If we were to compare with 12 mini, this one is superior because with a battery health of only 78% it lasted 5 hours and 36 minutes. This is definitely worth buying, especially if you find it in good health. There is only one phone left in the test and this is the iPhone 12, so we will see how long it will last and what its specifications are. We can make a statistic based on the final results, taking into account the specifications of each. The last one has also closed and now let's draw conclusions. With a battery health of 87%, the iPhone 12 reached almost 6 hours of continuous use. It lasted 5 hours and 58 minutes, being an excellent result. My conclusion after this test is that the best model in the 12 series is the 12 Pro Max, the second 12 followed by the 12 mini and 12 pro which model would you choose